Now moving on, pursuing a degree at any level in a university is not a walk in the park. I'm sure Dr. Norma will attest to this, him be the doctor himself. It becomes even more complex when you decide to study a Ghanaian language after years of receiving tuition mainly in English. Now, in the United Nations Education for All report, illiteracy is defined um, as the inability to speak and read one's local language. I'm sure you are beginning to ask yourself if you are indeed literate after hearing that. Well, you are not alone because even though UNESCO has encouraged mother tongue instruction since 1953, monolingualism in official or dominant languages, which in our case is English, continues to be a norm around the world. Well, today on News Desk, we speak to someone who has defied the odds and has taken the learning of local languages to the very pinnacle of academic achievements. My colleague Maxwell Agbagba is live with Dr. Nana Enima Viafia Kente, the first Chi PhD holder who completed her entire dissertation in Chi. Well, okay, so we have Maxwell here. Um, good morning, Maxwell. Right, good Maxwell, morning. you can go ahead. Daniel, mm. yeah, Daniel introduction I'll read you as I make us over with you with Chi. What kind of a bro from <laughs> well, um, <laughs> what do you find out? Why, but man, men di fufu ana pay it. Ana pay chi eh ti inko ana meno mi. Okay. <laughs> well, um, um, there's a proverb that has been attributed to Nelson Mandela, and it says that when you speak to a man in a language that he understands, it goes to his head. But when you speak to a man in a language that um, he, in his own a language, it goes to his heart. There's also a Chinese proverb that says that uh, when you um, learn to speak a new language, you open another window to the world. Today, we are coming to talk about Chi. And as you've already mentioned, Daniel, I have with me here um, Dr. Enima Viafi Akenten. We're going to ask her how she was able to do this and, uh, I mean, what it was like. Doc, you're welcome to join us. Thank you, and good morning to uh, all your viewers. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, very interesting. It's been a long journey, mm -hmm. and uh, thank God for where he has uh, brought us. Uh, it all comes down to the passion mm -hmm. to study the language, the love for my mother tongue, mm -hmm. yes. And then uh, I was able to identify my career aspiration, I mean, at the uh, early age when I was in primary school. And that has also helped because uh, when I was a little girl in primary school, uh, my, uh, the chief of my town then, the late Ohimin Kwetia, uh, Gilbert Ankara, he used to be a, a news presenter on GTV. And any time they are coming to broadcast the news, if, you know, we remember, uh, the, it starts with a sick tune, Oba, Obema, Oba, Obema, and he will come, or a lady will come. Mm -hmm. And I used to really love and enjoy that. Mm -hmm. And that inspired me a lot. And I said, when I grow up, I'll become a news presenter. Mm -hmm. But me, I will not become an English news presenter, mm -hmm. but I'll become a chi, you know, <laughs> news <Yeah>. presenter. <laughs> then, <laughs> <laughs> they all burst into laughter as we are doing now because very it was you know uncommon then to hear the news being presented uh, in in the local language let me say like in the Ewe, the Ga or in Chi so it was very funny then but uh, with with the love for it that is what I pursued and 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 now I'm a broadcaster in the Akan mm -hmm. and I love teaching too mm -hmm. but all the time I wanted to teach my local language so i learned yes mm -hmm. so i learned that to the higher level mm -hmm. and being a news broadcaster in akan i'm also a lecturer a teacher yeah. at the university of education akan is my department when i teach yeah. the language and teach most of the subject in chi that, that's interesting now um, you have with you here um the thesis that got you your phd yes. um in chi and in fact uh as written here i mean said there what they akan kasa the Juma and Mray were radio, me TV. So, um, I'm from the Volta region, so I'm sure you appreciate wow. <laughs> my reading. <laughs> okay, so uh, tell us over 200 you know pages all in Chi. Yes, 
Yes. Uh, hmm. It was very challenging because, you know, most of the books that I used, the literature, where she will say, yeah, the literature, were in, uh, are in uh, English. And some of the terms, the concepts were foreign terms, foreign concepts that, you know, I had to nativize or localize them, try to put them in the context of our culture, where we will understand it or how we will use it or how we will also employ it. So it was very challenging. But thank God, you know, Professor Jekum and Professor Osam and uh, Mr. Penton, they've written a book, a Khan terminology book, you know, English words being translated into she, but Prophet Jekum uh, was one of my supervisors, yes, and he's a lexicographer, you know, if I would say that in three, in Simfwayefwo, yeah, they developed it. In Simfwayefwo. Uh-huh, yeah, they, <laughs> you know, they are the semanticists and then, you know, the terminologists, yeah. So they have developed Akan terms. Yes, so that also helped me a lot, and I used the Akan dictionary. But most of the hard thinking, critical thinking work, you know, I had to do them myself, yeah, to make sure that the foreign concept, even the, the, the framework that I used, yeah, it's a, uh, by an, or a, the propound that is uh, from, I think, in the U.S. or something. It's critical discourse analysis. You know, it's Western concept. But I needed to localize it, nativize it, you know, try to bring it down to our level, to our cultural context, so I can use that to analyze the data of a can, you know, discourse. That's, that's interesting. On that score of you trying to nativize whatever that, you know, um, you were working on, we know that, for instance, you're writing a thesis. I mean, there's literature review. There are a lot of terms that, technical terms. Yes. And you were supposed to, uh, you know, yes. break all of them down, translate all of them, you know, to chi. Yes. You did that. Oh, yes, I did that. Yeah, you know, something like, uh, uh, let's say, method methodology, for instance, yes. you know, we say, jumedi hua kwanchre, and then samwa no no. Yeah, kwanchre, that is the direction, you know, so you use that method to direct you, to show you how you go about the work, how you do your, 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 your selection of the radio stations, then the, even the, the, the interviewees, you know, and how you do the analysis of the data. So that's how you call a methodology in Chi. Yes. Can, you, can you say it again? Jumedie hu akwanchre. Ena ensemwano is the data. Ensemwano. Okay. Just ensemna omoke kan yomdi di juma wo radio sono. no no. You know, political, social, from the morning show and from the news. That one, I call them social, uh, political programs discourse. Then others from, you know, programs that uh, discusses issues or matters to do with, you know, relationship, marriage, where sometimes they tend to, you know, talk about issues that are sensitive or taboo issues where body parts are mentioned. That sometimes, depending on the time of the day that they are not supposed to be mentioned, but they are mentioned. Okay. Yeah, so those are the Asitna Amamre Jumedi. Okay. So, uh -huh. um, from methodology, uh, which one, uh, which other word can you give us? Uh? Uh, theoretical framework. Yes. It's called Jumedienu Nyinaswo. Okay. So that is the framework that you use to do the analysis okay. so that somebody will not say that, you know, mm -hmm. uh, or challenge you that it's your own mm -hmm. opinion, it's your own views, it's your own analysis. So I use a framework mm -hmm. which guided me. So I that theoretical I, framework is okay. the Jumedienu Nyinaswo. Okay. I see Pen Pen Kasaho and Pen Sen Pen Semu. Yes. <laughs> yeah. The pimpin casa are the insults, the invectives, you know, the innuendos that are, I call them, uh, you know, overt innuendos. Well, so no, I said that they faculty coins. So the person is insulting you, but you know, they have a way of going round, round it. Yeah. I think we should let viewers know what your thesis was about, you know, so they can have a better understanding of uh, these part studies. Okay, yes. So, uh, as I said earlier on, I looked at how language is utilized. Mm -hmm. Language is employed in discussion of issues that are delicate, that are sensitive, you know, issues, I mean, things that we shouldn't mention according to our cultural norms, the rules, that we shouldn't mention openly because they can have effect on 
children who are learning and even adults. Mm -hmm. You know, some are sensitive. Make us a tree, be no more ten can was row. In two car some nessa, a bit me in a corner. O car some non so sa, a bit me de or how be a breno. Yeah, so they are in two groups. I looked at issues that are discussed in the morning shows and then in news. Okay. Yes, and as I said, the other one to do with uh, marital issues and taboo words. Yeah, so in discussion of the morning shows, the issues are mostly delicate, sensitive issues. Mm -hmm. And you see politicians, they want to save their face. On person beka asimbina ne nimbe guase, and it's like that with not only politicians and their and their um, and the callers and their supporters, but it's with that with every human being. We always want to save our face, you know. So, so, so the thesis was basically about how language is used, the how? local language is used in the uh, in the media, you know, landscape. In the media landscape, oh. in the media setting, as a public speaking. When you are talking, you have to try to save your face. Yeah. You have to try to use words appropriately, you know, where you have to observe the traditional norms, the culture, and all that. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So, introduction. How, how, how do they say it in Chi? <laughs> introduction is in the Nimu. Nimu. Which, which other word, um, difficult word, can you tell us about? Yes. Um, uh, the one that you, you have to translate here. Yes. We, there's another one, indirection. You know, that was one of the key words I used because I used, I looked at how they indirectly sometimes use words or manipulate words or strategic use of language, yeah, to save your face. So in direction, I had to translate that into kwetikwain or the assembly of kwetikwain on fan kwetikwain or the wada wada. So kwetikwain. But the same in direction, sometimes it's used you know, two in two folds. Sometimes it is just to save face. But especially the politicians, you know, or best shut down for a baby, not we bubeno, or say wo send your penny for kayano. Yes, say I buy a debotte chino. And one you to me the pim pim ba money ye ye. You know, the stick that is used to hit techi can also be used to hit ba as well. Yeah. Or some more can I say or catch any young can say Adia wo ye no say yen ye ba power ye be shu shim na se or how be a buyer, a chin was But on person or be can say, ye buy a bayer, sir, because you know it's a delicate matter. Oh, eh, oh, buy ni a bayer, no, no, and ye yen su say ni a bayer. Until you know they hide behind proverbs, yeah, to say what they want to say. Until no, I buy the butter chin, ye the pimping barman ye, ye, ubi sana or say, send yam penny four kai, and no, sa what say ye, and yamina may come, send yam penny four boo beno. So what say ye, a yasem na ho, and yame is not me. So that is one aspect of, you know. O hinta duyechiri, we hinta ebenechi, ena ode kanasem. That is strategic use of language and manipulation of language. So it wouldn't be like it's coming from him. Uh huh. Nen so anu ano kanasem. Ah. You see, you you perceive you wrap here up with this conversation, but. I want to pick your thoughts on this. Now, there are some people who say that if you look at our Karen's word, it's now become fashionable. Well, um, let me see what is in vogue now is to have parents speaking English to their children. So even at school, at home, wherever you find them. And sometimes for children who are able to express themselves fluently, you know, in English, people say, like, whoa, your child can speak so well. If you have a child who can speak three fluently, people go like, hey, I call a bear. Um, 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 Training them as global citizens, training them to be fluent at the you know, um, local dialect. What's your take on that? Yes, uh, very interesting. You know, I will start by saying that now the Chi language, mm -hmm. and I'm sure the other, our other local languages like the Ga and the Ebe and the others will follow suit. You know, the Chi is now being taught at uh, some universities in the US and in the UK, Switzerland, Ohio University, Yale University, New York University, and all that. So it is also going international. You go to Google, you know, you can uh, see the use tree, now the, even the alphabet, the fonts, you know. Yeah, so what I would say is that we have to teach our children to learn our local languages. They are our mother tongue, yeah. 
Rema, say, also da ya, ya na den kasa pa na ya oka. When you have a dream, what language you know? Me even in siya mi tiwo, even, me can't, me can't even isa. When yanko pon kwa na oka sa, when God is speaking to you, you hear that in your own language, the feel of the language. Sometimes when you, you get emotional, either you are happy or you are sad, whatever you want to say, you say, me pesa me kan wo me kasem na me fele na me hotome, ma me ke kan ye wo me boso. Look at how it's also helping with, you know, our democracy. Now, most of the stations are in, I mean, they broadcast in their Khan language where people have opportunity to speak their mind. You know, that also helps. They don't harbor uh, pains which can explode to, yeah. So, please, now, and apart from that, the language, learning of the language, acquiring skills, and taking that as a profession, it's also lucrative now. Yeah, so we should encourage to teach them. And the last thing is that, you know, in our language, we find our heritage. We learn about things around us. We learn about our culture. You know, we value, yes, our, our, our culture as well. And now, but you have to or can for her. So, if you the, you know the knowledge, our traditional entity, papa, or pokasa oni, and so. Oh, uh, I'm friend said domestic wisdom, and I said. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah, only we learn all that in our language, and other countries like the Chinese and other countries who use their language, like the I mean the Germans, you know how through their language they've been able to develop, you know, their country. So it's also important, but we should still combine, learn the English and. You know, but finally, before we go, um, there are some words that certainly, you know, usually are pronounced, you know, wrongly. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure if you listen to the, you know, uh, radio stations, you hear a lot of that. Maybe one or two, you want to mention some one or two that yes. we pronounce wrongly? You hear it and go like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Yeah, you know, I think one has to do with the use of uh, to me. Right, I presented paper, I just attended a, a conference, you know, a linguistics association conference and pe presented a paper on that, mm -hmm. to me. Yeah, yes, it was to me a woo. Accident in this year, no. A ma bear me and sunny pa bear me and said to me a woo. Ni pa en to me woo. Okay. One one kasa won to me woo. Okay. Eh, yeah, Wait, eh, I'm trying to, uh, he has been able to, be, to die. To be, that's what I'm going to say. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, so you know, me. can you yourself, unless it's suicide, you yourself, do you know when? Uh -huh. Yeah. We, to me, we need effort, you know, to be able to do that. And it needs volition. And to me, I said that in the accident, I said that in the accident, I said that in the accident, So we'll bring you more of that um, conversation in our later bulletins, but it's quite an education here. Um, in same for year four, lexicographer. I, w I was waiting for her to say the chief or engineer, but I'm sure I will get that in the full report.